Hello YouTube, let me tell you about a something interesting, a new development that needs to be put under more attention. Russian scientists from the Shershov Institute of Oceanology of the Russian Academy of Sciences have discovered a new and previously unknown underwater lake in the Atlantic Ocean. A huge body of water occupies the space from the Brazilian coast to the Gulf of Guinea, near the west coast of Africa. Previously, scientists have repeatedly noted the mixing of waters along the equator in the Pacific and Indian Oceans, but have never detected such a phenomenon in the Atlantic. This study is the result of many years of work by scientists. The oceanologists have discovered that the waters of the Atlantic Ocean are like a huge patchwork of interacting masses and layers. They mix and separate due to currents, vortices, and changes in temperature and salinity. The discovery of a new underwater lake in the Atlantic Ocean is important for understanding the processes taking place in this ocean. Firstly, it will allow us to better understand how the mixing of ocean water occurs. This is important for understanding the distribution of heat and oxygen in the ocean, as well as for weather and climate forecasting. Secondly, the discovery may have implications for marine biology. The reservoir may be home to many previously unknown species of fish and other marine animals. And I will add something to it as well, but a little later. In the future, scientists plan to continue exploring the new lake. They want to find out how it affects the distribution of heat um, and oxygen in the ocean, as well as marine ecosystems. Scientists also plan to study other oceans to find out if there are similar lakes in them. They might also find either cryptids or strange underwater craft there. Look, I've done a lot to collect materials for my uh, and Philip Mantles, uh, our joint book, Russia's USO Secrets. And uh, for decades, I've talked to former Soviet sailors and um, I talked to sailors around the world. I did my best to collect the information and I'm proud of that book, but I did not ignore developments in other navies around the world as well. It's just that my primary focus was on the uh, Soviet Russian and Russian Empire stories and so forth. Nevertheless, I've kept some notes and here's what I want to read you. It's an extract from the log of H. A. H. Raymer, second officer of the Fort Salisbury vessel, dated October 28, 1902. It was quoted in the Zoologist magazine in January of 1903. And this sighting took place in the Gulf of Guinea. Dark object with long, luminous trailing wake, thrown in relief by a phosphorescent sea, seen ahead, a little on starboard bow. Lookout reported two masthead lights ahead. These two lights, almost as bright as the steamer's lights, appear to shine from two points in line on the upper surface of the dark mass. Concluded dark mass was a whale and lights phosphorescent. On drawing nearer, dark mass and lights sank below the surface. Prepared to examine the wake in passing with binoculars. Passed about 40 to 50 yards on port side of wake and discovered it was the scaled back of some huge monster 
slowly disappearing below the surface. Darkness of the night prevented determining its exact nature, but scales of apparently one foot diameter and dotted in places with barnacle growth were plainly discernible. The breadth of the body showing above water tapered from about 80 feet close abaft, where the dark mass had appeared to about five feet at the extreme and visible length, roughly about 500 feet to 600 feet, concluded that the dark mass first seen must have been the creature's head. The swirl caused by the monster's progress could be distinctly heard and a strong odor like that of a low tide beach on a summer day pervaded the air. Twice along its length, the disturbance of the water and a broadening of the surrounding belt of phosphorus indicated the presence of huge fins in motion below the surface. The wet, shiny back of the monster was dotted with twinkling phosphorescent lights and was encircled with a band of white phosphorescent sea. Such are the bare facts of the passing of the sea serpent in latitude 5 degrees 31 minutes south, longitude 4 degrees 42 minutes west, as seen by myself being officer of the watch and by the helmsman and lookout man. The ship's master added, I can only say uh, that he is very earnest on the subject and certainly has, together with lookout and helmsman, seen something in the water of a huge nature as specified. Let's look at the history of the Fort Salisbury. It was a passenger cargo ship. Ship. It was launched on 27th of December 1894. And it was completed in March of 1895. The builder was Armstrong, Mitchell and Company. Yard was Walker. Yard number 620. History. In 1895, British and Colonial Steam Navigation Company, London. 1900, Bucknell Steamship Lines Limited, London. And then 1913, Andrew Wire and Company, Glasgow, renamed Gujarat. 1913, Booth Steamship Company, Liverpool, renamed Vincent. 1919, Haji M.H. Nemazi, Hong Kong, renamed Gorgistan. And it was broken up in 1928. And... Those who were aboard the ship in 1902, on October 28, definitely noticed something very interesting. So, the point is, I am sure in this newly discovered lake, in the Atlantic Ocean, we're bound to see very interesting creatures. And I am sure that commanders of submarines, military submarines, who are active in that span of water from the shores of Brazil to the Gulf of Guinea, they have noticed something interesting as well. But we're not privy to that. Not as yet, maybe one day. So that's what I wanted to let you know today. And I'll continue to bring interesting scientific news to you as well as stories from the paranormal realms. Thank you for your attention to my work. Please subscribe to my channel. If you can help my research, you can do so through the links you discover in the description of this video. And uh, like my videos. Thank you.